So, hi everyone. So now it's a quarter to 11. I would like to start with my talk to today. So, as you maybe know, the automotive industry is currently undergoing a massive transformation with some emerging automated, connected and electric automotive technologies enabling new mobility services in a shared economy. In turn, these innovations are changing the way automakers, their partners and customers create value and benefit from vehicles and transportation. And of course, no one can do that alone. Welcome to my talk about open source has arrived in automotive. Eclipse Automotive, an open collaboration framework for the automotive industry. So I'm Andy, I'm working for Bosch Engineering, 100% uh, subsidiary of the Robert Bosch GmbH. Uh, I'm working there for, for 25 years in several positions as an embedded software developer. And now I'm a so-called senior software architect for the software defined vehicle. And I'm also a co-project lead for the project Eclipse Velocitas. And I'm doing, or let's say I'm a newcomer, so to speak, in the open source area. So I'm with open source since end of 2016, where we started to with some um, activities in the autonomous driving section. So when you look around and see what happened, so for example, um, Alexander mentioned today in his keynote um, with the autonomous racing, you see open source arrived here in the automotive world. And, and this is a real good thing. So looking back some years, so more than five, um, then open source was not really imaginable in the automotive industry. And this changed and this will change in the future. And we are on a good way therefore and this is really good. And uh, I have here some, some small, some older examples from open source. Uh, who has arrived in automotive, for example, this one, Autonomous Futures Open Source, and that's still true from my point of view. Um, the Autoware Foundation, also well known in the, in the Autonomous uh, Race Challenge, uh, open source some interfaces and tools, and are also some, uh, active in some other activities, and providing here, for example, the Open AD Kit for the SOFI initiative. Then Uber open source the AVS and visualization um, vehicle visualization tool. Maybe you know also Kala. Kala is an open source simulator and also connectable uh, to the Eclipse Sumo project. Then there is Kama from the U.S. Department for Transportation, dealing here with uh, vehicle to X communication. Then we have here LG who open sourced a simulator framework for uh, the ROS tools. Tesla published also some uh, code for their Model X and Model S. Uber and GM crews um, are making here some visualisa visualization tools open source. Um, for everyone who participated yesterday in the community day um, in the automotive section, uh, Rex Gilaski from Continental presented their eCal framework. Um, Audi uh, carried open source to some uh, driving data sets, some machine learning libraries, and their so called uh, functional engineering platform, which they use for verification uh, purposes. So Eclipse is currently facing, so please correct me, Wayne, if I'm totally wrong, um, on more or less f uh, four pillars. One is the cloud native and Java um, pillar. One is tools. Then we have their IoT and Edge. And today I want to focus more on the automotive section. I hope I did not forget something. Thanks, Wayne. <laughs> Um, yes, the automotive framework which Eclipse provides consists here of several things. 
One is the automot auto automotive working groups. Then we have here the automotive related projects, which are clustered in an automotive top level projects. Uh, I will explain all the terms a little bit later. So, and the automotive top level projects provides here a space for open source projects to explore the ideas and the technologies addressing challenges in the automotive, in the mobility and the transportation domain. It is the common goal of this project to provide here tools and composable building blocks to empower the development of solutions for the mobility of the future. And of course, to have here a kind of a governance system on that, um, we have here the Automotive Project Management Committee called PMC. Now I would like to tell you a little bit in a fast way about uh, automotive working groups which are currently hosted at Eclipse Foundation. So we have on the one hand um, OpenMDM who is dealing with measurement data handling. We have OpenPass uh, coming from accident research providing here some simulator tools exactly for yeah, accident research. Open Mobility, who is dealing with um, traffic simulation. Sorry, um, Open ADX, um, who is dealing with tool chain and interoperability of the tools between the AD uh, development tools. And uh, currently the most important working group, the Software Defined Vehicle, which has the biggest growth um, at the Eclipse Foundation. Um, and it's really, really awesome to have a look on that, how that will um, yeah, grow and uh, will come further. Yeah, and uh, within these working groups, you have the possibility to, to collaborate on developing core functionalities, core frameworks, that you can work on tools, and you have here some systems for interoperability, for standardization, for simulation, testing, validation and certification. So in this area you can collaborate here in the automotive area. So a little bit going deeper into the uh, OpenMDM working group. So OpenMDM fosters and supports here an open and innovative ecosystem, providing here a lot of tools and systems, qualification kits and adapters for the standardized and vendor independent management of measurement data based on the ASAM ODS standard. So I do not want to read everything on the slide, so to speak, but some, some highlights. So it's about the definition of requirements. It's to develop and to maintain your standardized generic business object models based on the ASAM ODS um, application model. And it helps, creates, oversee Eclipse projects and provide you the necessary software components. And if you have more questions, deeper questions, maybe I see here Hans Dirk from the OpenMDM working group. So if you want to learn more about that, you can, of course, contact him. With OpenPath, um, is mainly managing the project uh, sim at OpenPath. As the name says, it's a simulator. And it provides here a software platform that enables the simulation of traffic scenarios to predict the real world effectiveness and advanced driver system systems or automated driving functions. They have also a look on the safety relevant um, aspects of traffic, such as infrastructural elements or behavioral characteristics, and they are investigated with this platform. And the platform can run entirely flexible multi-agent simulations, with, which includes stochastic variations as well as reproducibility. Open Mobility coordinates and shapes the development of Eclipse Foundation projects on the following topics. It's about microscopic and mesoscopic uh, traffic simulation, vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to infrastructure communication simulation, some pedestrian dynamic simulation. Uh, as far as I know today, there will be a further um, presentation. It's called You Never Walk Alone, and uh, they will go a bit deeper into that topic. 
uh, simulator coupling infrastructure, interfaces to advanced driver system systems and intelligent transportation systems solutions. So and with the Open ADX uh, working group, um, we started to find out how can a development tool chain look like, especially for the AD topics. Um, mainly focusing not directly on the tools, more on the implementation, on the interfaces to become here a um, most effective interoperability between uh, the different tools for the de several development steps. Because everyone invested in their tools or in the tool chain and um, to exchange your elements it's not so easy because yeah, everyone invested in training, in licenses, uh, and, and so on. And, and therefore, we, we started OpenADX in 2019 to yeah, ensure here the effectiveness and the interoperability between the development stages. So the software-defined vehicle provides here an open technology platform for the software-defined vehicle for the future, focused here on accelerating the innovation for automotive-grade in-car software stacks, using here open standards and to help support the community. And um, currently, really great achievements, um, a lot of projects and new projects are coming around. So have a look on that. There will also be several talks here at EclipseCon about, the, about Eclipse Automotive, about um, the software-defined vehicle. So participation in the Eclipse Foundation Automotive Working Groups enables the members to use the work that currently has been established or have been done within the working groups. You can contribute to current pro projects uh, by participating also in the current working groups. You can share your intellectual property without the threat of antitrust and regulatory challenges. So this is really important because I'm working at Bosch and uh, normally it's not allowed to talk with your competitors, exceptional here in the open space, and that's really great. So now I have, yes, you can say it in, in this way, a friend at Continental. We are working closely together on some stuff. So and that's in, a, in an other setting not, not really possible, and, and that's really great. And I enjoy that, and yeah, really, really cool. Um, you can here enable also the creation of um, a common open platform, especially for the automotive world in this case, or for transportation, for the mobility of the future, because all the things will be yeah, software defined, I would say. Um, also very important is to share the costs, to share risks, to uh, save you a little bit m of money um, inside your uh, organization and not to reinvent a wheel a second or a third or a fourth time. So just use what there is and um, bringing things forward. So I just um, attended the talk of um, Wolfgang Gehring um, talking about the Mercedes-Benz Open Source Manifesto. He said 97% um, of the new software projects contains open source. And therefore, yeah, that, that's the way we have to do and um, where we have to, to come around and to, to work together in this open collaboration um, possibility. So now we have a lot of open source projects, especially in the automotive area, but let's come at first uh, to the top level project to have a kind of an explanation how it is um, organized here at the Eclipse Foundation. So a top level project is primarily an organizational concept, means this is a cluster of uh, several uh, projects who cope with the scope of the automotive charter in this case 
for the automotive projects who have a governance um, authority, maybe I can say, um, called the project management committee, committee who have a look on um, if you work uh, really correct in regards of um, yeah, guidance, um, if you have questions regarding processing, you can t contact also the PMC and they support you um, with some election uh, things in this area. And the top level project contains some more automotive projects also yeah, containing here or coping here the, the scope. Then you have here the standard project, so one, one level uh, below the top level project. Um, the PMC providing here some governance and some help, so to speak. Uh, contribution, contributors do their contributions and then they will send here some pull requests to pull over the changes into the main path, so to speak. And the committers, also a real important role at Eclipse Foundation, are responsible for pushing and accepting here the pull requests to resolve issues and do some other administrative work, I will say, a uh, really important role for an initial project. The initial committers can be, what's, what's the right word, um, appointed. And um, later on, you will have an election process based on the merit Democracy principle means you have to show that you yeah, bring here your value in, you do some work in there, you contribute to uh, reviews, to, to um, software, you do reviews, send some pull requests and so on. Then you have also some project leads within the automotive um, projects, not only in the automotive projects, in all projects, you have here the project leaderships, you have here the project leads who are responsible for the management and the technical leadership of the project. You have here a primary liaison with um, the PMC and the Eclipse Management Organization and um, they will also be elected from the group of the committers. It's also the same for an initial project. The project leads will initially appoint it, and later on they can be elected via the Eclipse Foundation election process. Then you have the project management committee who is um, responsible for uh, the technical approval of IP contributions and releases as well as for the project governance and an oversight and a general responsibility over the several projects. And the Eclipse mem um, Management Organization is then, has the overall responsibility for the governance in close contact with the several um, PMCs and um, yeah, con consists of the Eclipse Foundation staff and an architectural council. So let's have a, a short look about the Eclipse automotive projects. Currently we have round about yeah, more than 20 and uh, in the morning I saw the next, I approved the next one I will say because I'm also a member of the, the PMC. So we have currently Eclipse ADAA, it's called uh, Adaptive Cruise Control Demo Application for Adaptive Autosar. It's a kind of a playground to find out here how to deal here with the Autosar Adaptive Stack and um, to come a little bit more into that. Um, yeah, but you need therefore also an, an, an adaptive stack. So adaptive is currently not open source, means you have to be member to try that in a full-fledged um, thing out, so to speak. Then we have a newly one, it's the, called the uh, Eclipse Ambient, Ambient Light Services. So maybe you know that also from, from your personal car, so with the coming home and the leaving uh, functionalities that you can um, adjust here the, the lights yeah, due to your personal uh, preferences. Then there's App4MC, an application platform for multi-cars. Then we have here the Eclipse Automated Driving Open Research, research Project, it's called Adore and uh, provides here some modular software libraries and a toolkit for decision making, for planning, control and simulation of automated vehicles. 
Then we have uh, also a new one, the Eclipse backend function bindings. Uh, it's especially for or created for the STV context and provides here some protocols and technology agnostic interfaces, uh, interface specification. Then Eclipse Chariot, um, this project is a kind of a middleware and a development um, a platform with the application programming model. Eclipse Chloe is an, a simulation middleware who connects a real simulator, could be open source, could be a commercial one, um, with the software you want to test. Uh, Eclipse ECAL, enhanced, enhanced communication abstraction layer, um, also a kind of middleware to support here some monitoring functionalities within the ADAS uh, development uh, area. Then Eclipse Ibeji, it's a little bit similar to um, Velocitas, but I came a little bit later on to that. It's also a kind of, um, um, yeah, no, it's, it's uh, based for a uh, digital twin. Um, yeah, I mixed something up. Chariot and Velocitas is similar. And Ibeji is especially for the digital twin representation. Uh, Kuxa is um, an open and secure uh, platform who can interconnect here with the cloud and the in-car. So if you have a look on the Bosch booth, for example, they have here the so-called Canopy uh, directly connected to the OBD bus within the car and uh, with the possibility to send the data from the OBD bus to the cloud and to work then together with yeah, other services you can, can host them in the cloud. Then there's Eclipse LIDA, it's um, kind of an SDV contribution, bringing several pieces out of the software-defined vehicle together. And um, yeah, it's based on, on, on Yocto and a Linux-based um, image and distribution. And the LIDA incubator uh, provides here a, pl a place to, to bring exactly that stuff together, and uh, especially for the software-defined vehicle. Then with um, MDM, Open MDM, we have the real project uh, according to the MDM working group, who provides also a playground. Uh, you can, can try it out and can play around, and therefore here you have the, the several uh, systems and applications for the measurement uh, data system. Eclipse Mosaic provides here a multi-domain and uh, multi-scale co-simulation environment. Uh, Eclipse Muto, you will have today a special talk on that. Um, Nachi will tell you about Eclipse Muto. Then we have OpenMCX. OpenMCX is uh, a part of a commercial version um, who AVL is providing. Um, it's a co-simulation middleware and um, yeah, based on the, the functional mock-up interface and um, using here DCP, the DCP protocol. Then SIM at OpenPass, this is the simulator out of OpenPass. Uh, then we have uh, Eclipse SUM R, it's a SUM IP implementation uh, in Rust. Then Eclipse Sphinx uh, is a modeling tool platform. Sumo is then the simulator for urban traffic. Um, hosted by the Open Mobility Working Group. Tractus X is a, a kind of a proof of concept um, within the Catina X uh, activities. Eclipse Velocita provides here an end to end and scalable and open source development tool chain. And currently, as mentioned, uh, more projects are about to come. So have a look on that, stay tuned. So let me talk a little bit about the top level projects. Of course, I presented it a little bit. We have here automotive. We have here tools as a top level project, IoT, modeling, then one of the biggest, the technology, and also some smaller like ASCII doc or the Eclipse IDE, I guess it's uh, also a smaller one in this case, and uh, but that's not all. There are, of course, more, and you see there are a lot of projects. 
out there. So a little bit about the history about the automotive top level project. So we are really young, young in this case, so we started last year and um, beginning of last year, so we created therefore the top level project as well as the charter. And our mission or our charter is uh, the Eclipse Automotive Top Level Project provides here a space for open source projects, especially here in the area of automotive, um, mobility, transportation, yeah, to bring here the projects, the tools and so on yeah, further, that we have here more solutions for the mobility and the automotive world in the future. So the scope is um, of the project includes here developing, managing, promoting and supporting applications, frameworks, runtimes, middlewares and models in the following area like traffic and transportation planning, decision making, test and assessment in the AD world, um, modeling, definition of traffic scenarios, dynamic co-simulation and a lot of more. And in addition to that, we are providing also some software solutions for the industry, for the public sector, for institutions and consumers. So what is the automotive PMC doing? What are our, our, our main tasks, so to speak? Um, we have a mailing list where we do all the communication. Um, IP needs to be approved, so we will answer if we approve and uh, if we have approved um, these requests. Releases needs also to, be also to be approved as well as the committer elections. So currently this is the project management committee. Uh, the PMC lead is Harald. Um, he's also here. Um, myself, uh, Angelika, Lukas, Michael and Torkild and we are dealing with all that stuff. So we have also an own uh, website. It's still under construction so we have to do here some more work but um, you can follow that of, of course. Here you can see here the overview about the automotive top level projects. Um, so if you want to see how it is uh, increasing the number of projects, have a look on that side. Here is the overview about the links I presented right now. And what's also important, we have here a lot of Eclipse Automotive working groups combined with a lot of automotive related projects. But not only automotive related projects, we have a lot of other projects within the Eclipse Foundation and not only in the Eclipse Foundation, also out in the world because open source is meant for do not reinvent the wheel a second or third or fourth time. Just use it if there is something there and adjust it for your own purposes. And to bring that stuff all together, we initiated also a kind of a self-organized um, small group of people. It's called currently Eclipse Automotive, bringing automotive together. It's a four weekly meeting. Everyone is invited, so if you want to participate, let me know. I will forward you the, the invite, therefore. And what Eclipse is also doing for us, hosting here some events like the Automotive Community Day, who um, occurred yesterday. So it was really great, a full packed agenda, so just a small impression here. Um, a lot of good talks and a really crowded um, room we had. So from year to year we get bigger and bigger. So every year the room is too small. And um, yeah, we try to do it better next time and hope to host as well a full, fully crowded room. So to sum up a little bit, the Eclipse Foundation provides here a framework for open, collabor open collaboration in the automotive world. And currently the automotive framework consists of five working groups, more than 20 automotive projects, I guess it's 23 right now, um, the automotive project management committee, 
some automotive related events and the future of automotive is software defined and of course open so let's collaborate here in the open and let's build the future vehicle I invite you thank you And just to make also a little advertisement, um, in two weeks, I guess it's in two weeks, there will be the BCX at Berlin, um, a hackathon uh, in the area of the software-defined vehicle. If you want to, will, uh, to become familiar with uh, these listed projects like Chariot, like ECAL, like LIDA, Velocitas and so on, please register, come to Berlin, hack with us, it's a really cool event. And now I'm open for questions. If there are someone. Okay, okay. hi. Uh, I would just like to ask you, um, is there, a, maybe, maybe you mentioned it, but uh, I didn't um, take note of, on that. But I would just like to ask, uh, is there a process for, for an organization to become a member of one of the working groups? Or, or these groups are closed and they don't allow no, no, no. new members? The, the wor working groups are at the first step open. So to really participate in the working groups, you have at first to be a member of the Eclipse Foundation. And then you can also participate in the working group. But it, in general, it's open for everyone. Um, we are also providing our meeting protocols uh, in the open. Typically, it's a wiki. Um, so it's open and transparent. Okay, thanks. So this refers to organizations, no uh, individuals, right? So, sorry? Uh, this uh, Eclipse membership that you mentioned refers to uh, organizations, companies and uh, research centers, not, on, or not individual persons, right? It's also possible for individual persons. Um, so if you want to be a Eclipse member, you can reach out, for example, to Wayne. So just behind you. And, um, Already an Eclipse member. <laughs> Okay, I can see you. <laughs> and, and he will guide you, of course, to the membership process. All right, okay. Thank you very much. Further questions? If not, then I will thank you. Do not forget to register for the BCX Hackathon. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. And I will be also available today, tomorrow, yeah, if you have further questions, reach out to me. Thank you.